what is the area of a rectangle which is 150% more than the area in square units right of the triangle formed by the three graphs of the equations x equal to 4 y equals to 3 3x plus 4y equals to 12. So basically, we'll have to find out the area of a rectangle, which is 150% more than the area of the triangle. So basically, to find out the area of rectangle, you first need to know the area of triangle, right? Area of the triangle has to be uh, measured, right? How do we do that? The three graphs of the have been given, right? The triangle is formed by three lines, you know, right? So for all those three lines, the equations have been given, right? x equals to 4, y equals 3, and 3x plus 4y equals 12 are the three equations. So let us first find out the area of triangle, right? Let's first focus on the area of the triangle. Now, what do we do? Draw the coordinate axis, right? Draw the coordinate axis. So let's say this is like the, the x-axis, right? And here is the y-axis with the origin O. You need not do all this drama in the exam. You can, you know, do it really quick. But for the sake of uh, explanation, I would put it on paper, right? All the steps on paper. So see this equation, x equals to 4 x equals to 4 you know x equals to 4 is a line which will be parallel to y axis getting it x equal to 4 will be a line parallel to y axis how do you draw this line x equals to 4 see we have discussed all this in the topic of coordinate geometry right if you go through the actual video x is equal to 4 implies what y is equal to 0 so you can say maybe this is the point here 4 comma 0 this is the ordered pair right so this is the straight line x equals to 4 you're getting it the horizontal distance is 4. x equals to 4 means what? The horizontal distance here is 4. Horizontal distance is always from the y-axis. So x equals to 4. You can see that this line is parallel to y-axis. Then the second line is y equals to 3. y equals to 3 would be a line parallel to x-axis, right? y equals to 3 means what? The order pair would be 0, 3. y is 3. x is 0 there, right? There is no, uh, no variable x here. y is equal to 3. So this line will pass through this point and it will be parallel to x-axis. So this is y equals to 3. You can say this is x equals to 4. This line here is y equals to 3. And now there's one more line. 3x plus 4y equals to 12. Now, if, if you look at this 3x plus 4y equals to 12, uh, the easiest way to express this equation would be in the intercept form. right? You remember the intercept form. x by a plus y by b equals to 1. So we can do that. What do we do? Divide uh, both the sides by 12. So 3x by 12 plus 4y by 12 equals to 12 by 12. This results in what? x by 4 plus y by 3 equals to 1. Now, if you see, this is proper uh, intercept form, right? x by a plus y by b equals to 1. So, which means this line, uh, if, if you look at this equation, the x-intercept is 4, y-intercept is 3. x-intercept is 4 means what? The point is this, right? The distance of... Uh, the point from origin is 4. Y intercept is 3 means what? The distance of the point from origin is 3. This distance. So this is the second point. So this line, the third line, which we have uh, simplified now, passes through these two points. So this is the third line. This is going to be the third line. Are you getting it? This is the third line. So this is the triangle, right? See, if you observe the triangle, what will be the vertices of the triangle? I'll just change the color for the sake of uh, clarity here. The triangle passes through these the vertices of the tri triangle are these, right? This is the first one, second one, and the third one. You see, triangle is made up of this red line, and this red line, and this line. These are the segments which make the triangle. So we can find out the area of the triangle, right? Now, actually, to find out the area of the triangle, you have to use the formula that we have uh, discussed in the video, right? There's one formula that has been given. See, we know all the three vertices. If you look at it, this, this vertex here will be what? Uh, it will be 4, 3. Is it no? The distance is 4 and this is 3. So 4, 3. This is the vertex. So we know all the three vertices. 0, 3, 4, 0 and 4, 3 are the three vertices. So, you know, the traditional way of finding out the area of this triangle would be to go by the formula. What formula? Half of x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. Right? But then if you observe properly, this actually forms a right angle triangle. You see, these two are perpendicular lines. The angle here will be 90 degrees. How do we know these are perpendicular lines? One line is parallel to y-axis and the other one is parallel to x-axis. So these two lines will intersect. And the angle at the point of intersection will definitely be 90 degrees. So this becomes a right angle triangle. And for a right angle triangle, we can calculate the area as half into base into height. So if you see, area of the triangle 
area of the triangle can be taken as half into base into height. What is the base? Let us consider this as the base. How much is this? Four. And what is the height? This is the height. Three. So we can say half into four into three. So four three is twelve. Half of twelve is six. So area of the triangle is six units. But what is he asking us to find out area of the rectangle? What will be the area of rectangle? Is it area of rectangle? He says area of rectangle is one fifty percent more than the area of the triangle. One fifty percent more means what? It will be six plus one fifty percent of six. Six plus one fifty percent of six, right? It is one fifty percent more. See, understand? It is not one fifty percent of the area of triangle. It is one fifty percent more than the area of the triangle. Don't take one fifty percent of six directly. It is six plus one fifty percent of six. So what do we get here? Six plus one fifty percent of six is nothing but nine. Is it a one point five times six nine? Six plus nine, fifteen units will be the final answer. Again, I would say the explanation has taken so much of time, but when you do it yourself, uh, you will you will be able to solve this in what in about thirty seconds, thirty forty five seconds, not more than that. All right. So that's about this question here. Answer is fifteen units. Option three. Okay.